What's up, my Grogu gang? Twin Sanity here with the Star Wars Saturday. It's March 2022, and Hasbro has just dropped another series of the Bounty Collection. The Bounty Collection featuring Mr. Grogu. It's Series 4, and you notice, the first thing you notice, plastic-free packaging. Okay. So a lot of these companies are listening, they're watching my videos, and, and I'm always like, why is there so much garbage? Look at all this landfill filler, and, and, and this is the response, so... The drawback is, obviously, you don't have the window where you can compare them. Oh, does this one paint it better than this one? But whatever. W whatever. It's Series 4. They're not blind. That was when I first saw these. I was like, oh my gosh, are they going to be blind? So they are still not blind. And I don't think, I did not observe a full case, but I don't think it's short packed. Three were missing from the case of 12. So I think there was both of this guy left, both of this guy left. And actually, both of this guy, this might be the most interesting one. And there was only one of those guys left. Regardless, I got the full set. Let's do it. Get into it. Now, you know, I have kept up with this series. You can check my video for series one, you can check my video for series two. You can check my video for Series 3. And you notice, another thing I'm always saying in my videos, toy companies, number the figures. Series 1 through 3 did not have them numbered, but you look right here, we pick right up with 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So the three Christmas Grogu figures that I also have are not part of the numbering system. So here he's going to be eating some space cookies. Made from blue milk. <laughs> I never watched the show. Don't intend to. Oh, those are beautiful. You get a sack of intergalactic space cookies. Copyright LFL Hasbro SA. No year. That's cute. Can you see it? Can you feel it? Are well, you down with the cause and its sponsors? Space cookie. Let's see here. He's eating a, a tentacle. He's washing it. He's prepping it to cook, maybe. I don't know. Okay, there's the cardboard. There's the tish who paper. No plastic. Except for the figure. Hashtag team plastic. Hashtag plastic love. Okay, he's very excited. Okay, I thought it was just a tentacle from a larger creature. You can see it's more like a space salamander. Now... I didn't watch the show, so you can let me know, is that his pet, or is that food, or is it both? I think he's raising it to eat. Also, at this point, four series, and I think the show's only been on two seasons. Maybe these are just made up. Maybe these have absolutely nothing to do with the Mandalorian TV show. Here he's got some space spiders. This one's going to be cool. Also, how many more seasons are they going to do? Is he going to find... Okay, my understanding is he's the last of his kind that's known, but I'm telling you, they're not going to end it without finding at least one other one of his kind. Can I, can I call at least that much? What a wasted show it would be following the last of its kind type species storyline <laughs> and then not to find it, not to find another. He could find a bunch of others. That would be cool. Or maybe just find one another. So then we can make a bunch of others. You know what I'm saying? You know how it goes down. Ooh, that's cool. Space spiders. Ah, uh, he's using the force to, like, get him off of him or something? Very cool. I'll rank these at the end. What's up right here? Oh, the butterfly. Okay. Okay, is there actually a morpho butterfly in the show? Because that looks just like a morpho of Central and South America on planet Earth. Not a galaxy long ago and far away. It looks like a terrestrial Earth species, except, technically, this would be the underside of its wings. The blue, the bright blue of a Morpho is on the upper side of its wings, which are not painted at all, because you're not going to see them. And, you know, I'm fine with that choice. Very cool. Woo! Okay. So we got three with animals and three not with animals. Okay, let's see what this He's Hiking through the snow. Grogu without snowshoes. Hiking through the snow. Where's he gonna go? Is that is that spring and this is winter? Or is this more like he's on Hoth? Have we got to Dagobah yet? 
A very snowy, snow printed, snow footed Grogu. Very cool, we don't talk about Grogu. Alright, last one. He's in a cauldron. He's about to be Grogu stew. Duck season, wabbit season, no. He's Grogu season. This one is hefty. He's hefty. He gets around. Well, I thought it was going to be a, a cauldron, but it kind of looks more like a urn. Maybe it's just some decorative pot you get it at Home Goods or uh, TJ Maxx. I don't know. Okay, that was pretty cool. Oh, dude, I got to report something else. You know where these used to be six dollars? They're eight fifty now. Eight freaking fifty. So hyperinflation is here. Hyperinflation is real. You're gonna pay eight fifty for these? At least they did not decide the blind box gimmick them such that they could force you to buy duplicates. Okay. I'm happy. I'm happy with the designs. Nothing out an outstanding paint flaw. And ultimately, I really don't care. Did they made plastic free packaging? They're just mm! They got so much virtue to signal to the consumer. <sighs> One, I'm going to do it. Because it reminds me of that meme. What is that other meme? Where the guy is like, is this a blah, 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 blah? Anyway, okay. Memes win. Memes always win. That's number one. Very cool. Number two, I am going to do the spiders. What is okay? Three, third favorite. I'm gonna do it. The little salamander. You're gonna want to display it a little more at this angle, I believe. Uh. Oh, very cool. Fourth favorite is the urn. It's hefty and it's cute. Next favorite. That is one of my favorite colors in the world. So I don't know what he's eating. It might be some kind of space Oreo, space Hydrox. Maybe it's a gigantic M&M &M for the Millennium Falcon. I don't know. But that is the next favorite. My least favorite for this series is Footprint in the Snow, Grogu. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked it, shared it, and thumbed it up. And I hope that you're having a great day and a great life. I hope that you're just finding everything in life that you hope to accomplish and collect. And you're just having a wonderful, beautiful time. I know I am. Golly, these are cool. So good. So nice. Ooh, baby Grogu, you got some spiders attacking you. You better use the force to get him out of here. He used the force to draw this butterfly in. And is he going to eat it? Okay. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. This one you can display in the holiday season with your, with your three Christmas figures. Did you get those? I don't know if you got them. I don't know what you did because, frankly, I don't watch your channel. But I do thank you for watching mine. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much for the thumbs up. It sure has been a great video. And I just feel giddy. I feel happy all over. Having done it, having shared it, having got them. Oh, my goodness. Golly, gosh. Goodbye.